Let's keep working, people. Are we getting there? Yeah. Run reel 10 again. I think we're duplicating a shot here. See, a movie doesn't come all on one big reel. It comes on a few. You got your thinking. You got your editing. In the industry, we call them cigarette burning. How, how soon do you think we'll be able to get this cut? I don't know where the date is. It's got to be an expiration date. Mark on it. Don't they put expiration dates on these things? They usually do, yeah. yeah. Maybe it was on the cap. I don't know. Why would you leave this in there for uh, three years? I don't know. It's for you, bud. Welcome back, everyone, to the Postcast Podcast. The uh, roundtable is back. Global uh, phenomenon. Global phenomenon. Thank you, John. Yeah. Uh, I am uh, Gavin Basilar, and uh, I am here with... Tell everyone your name so that they know who we are. I'm Jamie Blanco. Jim and, Chalice. Wait, what? No, I'm, I'm Jim Chalice. I'm, oh, I'm Jonathan Norcross. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? You ready to do this? Let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this. All right, do it again. Start it again. Start it again. No, that was great. That no, was good. We didn't do what we do. What do we do? What, what, what do, we what do, we do? do? This is exactly no, what we do. No, we don't even say what we do for work. You want to do no, that? No, no, no. We stopped doing that. Yeah, it's, it's the fourth episode. episode. People know what we do. Yeah, that's not true. Everyone's ep- every episode, episode. Every episode, someone's first episode. Oh, fine. Yeah, I'm, that's right. I'm Gavin Basilar. I keep all saying. I keep oh, yeah, yeah. Let's say it. It all stays. It all stays. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, then, guys, welcome back once again. I'm Gavin Basilar. I'm an actor, writer, producer. And to my left, we've got. I'm Jamie Blanco. I'm an editor and assistant editor. I'm Jim Shaw, some you of fucking editor, assistant editor, <laughs> and fucking podcast twat. producer. <laughs> uh, I'm Jonathan Norcross, official twat. <laughs> uh, and a beautiful man who produces a documentary. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. We that did. We nailed it. it. Yeah, we nailed it. All right, well, guys, thanks for sticking with us. Um, well, you'd be all happy to know that we are officially on the iTunes. Woo! So, iTunes. Uh, we yeah, made it onto uh, oh. iTunes this week, so you can uh, find us by uh, searching for the postcast. It's true. iTunes. You can actually also find us on uh, Stitcher and uh, Spotify. Coming soon. Yeah. No, oh, it should be up. It's about up. time this is Spotify. Time this is out. It should be up. All right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Well, all right. So <laughs> episode four, um, we've got some topics I never in, hope. in order. <laughs> <laughs> never hope. Nice. <laughs> uh, what's uh, oh, that's a totally episode? Yeah. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Totally. So the first thing that we have on the agenda is not something that I'm super familiar with. I've seen the trailer. I did not. Um, I did not know it was a remake. Um, but it is the movie called. Sperria. Sperria. Yeah. Sperria. So no one, did anyone watch the original movie? Oh, I've seen it. I watched yeah. it five minutes of it this it's, week. It's crazy. I tried to watch it. It's fucking time. bananas. It's yeah? Crazy. Yeah. It's, it's great. Um, it's probably one of the scariest movies. I would say... No, when, when did the original come out? It came out in 1977. Okay. That sounds right. Yeah. And that's why today people would, would watch it and be like, well, this is not the scariest thing ever. Yeah, but to be fair, it's also, it was also the 70s, like, when horror was kind of, like... Weird. Super weird. Yeah, and, like, they were really pushing it yeah. as far as, like, the violence and creepiness. But yeah. Yeah, Suspiria was known for having very extreme but also very stylized violence. Mm-hmm. All right. Like, if I recall, there's one scene where it shows the interior of a woman's body and you see the knife like plunging into the heart. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, it's like, yeah, it's, it's very it's, Mortal Kombat of them. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's very, it's very extreme. extreme. Very stylized. Very strange. Yeah. I loved it. Brand of horror. Lots yeah. of fatalities. Yeah. Fatality, yep. right? Yeah. 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 And it's just like, again, I don't want, I hate, I hate to bring up paranormal activity again. No, do it. But it's that, for Dirt me, up. for me, that movie was always like the really scary part was the unknown. It was like the idea that there's right. just like the demon, the demon that mm-hmm. chases you, kind of thing. Right. And yeah. you don't understand why. It's in Blair Witch. Thing. Yeah. Don't understand what's happening in Blair Witch. Yeah. Do they ever explain it in in no? the original? In Suspiria? Yeah, yeah it's just, or does it kind of just stay? I think, I don't remember. It was so long. Do you remember? Remember what? If like in Suspiria, did they explain the whole like. The reason why everything was going on. I don't my really my vague recollection is it's a serial killer targeting a bunch of women at a dance studio. Yeah. Spoilers. And <laughs> nineteen seventy seven spoilers. <laughs> and, and I think Pre-birth witches Pre-birth or something. Pre-birth Pre-birth I, can't. I remember. Yeah, I remember witches like a witch involved. thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember. I mean, I mean, the only reason I was really asking that is because I kind of enjoy the aspect of the unknown. Mm-hmm. Like, I really kind of hope that that kind of stays. Yeah. If that's, if that's, if they well, can show the restraint. I, well, I can tell you watching the trailer for the new one, it, there's definitely, 
Uh, there's definitely like a mystery to everything. Yeah. But I like watching through it. I have a feeling you're, you're going to know what's going to. We're going to get an origin story. Yeah, we're going to get something. I'm not a big fan of that anymore. Yeah. Especially in horror movies. Just that, yeah. Really happen in horror movies. I think that's yeah. the when it doesn't need to happen. Yeah. Um, especially in horror movies. Especially yeah, in horror movies. Yeah. Yes. Like, like the Freddy movie that yeah. did the, uh, the the reboot recently that had the origin story. Yeah. In it. Yeah. It's like, well, it's like it's like on. you know it was always hinted at. It's like yeah. that Han Solo movie that came out. Like I don't, don't need, need to know what movie. I don't need what? Solo. Solo, a Star uh, Wars story. Uh, yeah, I don't even know yeah. how they did the Kessel Run. Not directed by Ryan Johnson. Sex. <laughs> how they did the Kessel Run? Oh God! I don't. No one needs to know that. No one also oh, needs, no one to, needs know to know how he got his name either. Yeah, no one needs to know was, how Solo and Chewbacca became friends. Dumb as shit. Like it's just silly. That was the weirdest part of the whole. Like, and I don't want to go on. And it's like in the first like five minutes of the movie. Where I don't want to go on a diatribe about the whole Solo movie. We won't. But say it. that was really fucking weird. That it was like, at no point in the entire history of Star Wars was I like, well, is Solo his real last, his real last name? No one. Only asked. until then they were like, well, you know, question it now. And yeah. now forever it shall be just a stain on yeah. our lives. Yeah, it's not his real last. No name. one wanted yeah. the answer yeah. to that question. No one yeah. was asking it. And Darth Maul was there too. He sure Solo. was. His actual name is Hans Gruber. <laughs> <laughs> That's his birth name. <laughs> He's like, I fell from a building, but I was saved by the Falcon. Yeah. Um, okay, so I, I do like that, that movie, though. I, I do like Solo, overall. Yeah, well, that's for a different episode. Well, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. going to be a the, the trailer, the, uh, the, the trailer for Suspiria so is actually is like legitimately unnerving. I, yeah. I actually really dig it. Um, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, same here. And it's I by the director of uh, "Call Me by Your Name." Mm-hmm. Okay, I great fucking movie. movie. Yeah, it's got a, you know, it's got some some names. Tilda, Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton. Anything Chloe. she's in, I'm, I'm Dakota I'm really Johnson. Bad. Dakota Johnson, yeah. Chloe Grace Moretz. I mean, they're yeah. all music by Tom York. Yeah, how uh, awesome nice. is that? Yeah. He's still alive. That was the first thing I said. Man, Tom <laughs> York, of course, yeah, he's still alive. Yeah, why would you be dead? I don't know. He's healthy. He's got to be a vegan or something. Yeah, he's supercharged. He'll live forever. Probably stop drinking. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing to be sorry for. Um, yeah, okay. But yeah, no, dude, it's, it looks... Looks good. It looks, it looks, good. Legit, yeah. looks good. It looks legitimately yeah. terrifying. And uh, when does this movie actually come out? I feel like I didn't Soon. even catch that. September? Soon. Was it September? I'm so, gonna I'm gonna Google check that, and I would guess uh, my best guess would be October. I guess for Halloween. Uh, that makes more sense. Which you know we're getting That's that horror movie. Yeah. We're getting that Halloween you know remake, which is fine. Yeah, I'm cool with it. That should be cool. Right the episode. We get the Venom movie also that that in, in October. Um, Read someone's pancreas or something. So there's Eyes. a couple of lungs. <laughs> yeah, so there's a couple of things coming out in October for for uh, ha- Halloween this I this year. Eyes, lungs, pancreas. I got nothing. I'm sorry. I tried. I, I, I'm too. That was Jim's best Tom Hardy. No, no, no. That's my CBD version of Tom Hardy. That's me pulling on this pen for the best half hour. Okay. Version of that. Yeah, Jim's relaxed. I am very relaxed. super chill. October 26th. Yeah, totally in October 26th. Halloween, yeah. Totally yeah, for man. the Halloween yep. crowd. Yeah. Right on time. Which is very smart. This uh, is what I... But when, is, wait, wait, what? when does Venom come out? What are we, oh, I'm sorry. That's like the first week of October. Because uh, the 1977 version mm. is playing at the IFC Center. Nice. Sure. Nice. Shout out, shout out to the IFC Center. Yeah. Don't come join us on that, by the way. Yeah. Where we also saw a great film yes. called Skate Kitchen. Well, we'll talk about that a little bit. We'll talk about that in a moment. Yeah. But shout out to IFC Center. We're more than willing to talk about how wonderful your theater is. Yes. In exchange for, you know, you want to throw some tickets our way. Are you done being a whore? You know, you want to give us a little something here and there. Maybe, We're around town. Yeah. We're available. Yeah, maybe you'll let right. us watch uh, Suspiria for free. They're still whoring Yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah. We can, and we'll promote the theater. Yeah. IFC Center, <laughs> IFC Center has some of the best seats in the game. All right, we're done here. All right, can you on. Big, cushy, oh, comfortable Jesus. leather seats, lots of... Uh, like, John, I don't think your your pant leg can go up any higher. Can you just roll it back down, please? No, dude, it's not even a pant leg. Stop exposed. Stop exposed. It's, it's just primarily CK. I was like, the KY jelly at this point. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> I think that's a good uh, opportunity for us to now officially talk about the skate kitchen. <laughs> skate kitchen. <laughs> Seen at the IFC Center. Uh, what were you, well, actually, wait, no, before we move on, what were you going to say about that? We should, about what? See, about seeing the movie or something like that? Oh, I was going to say we should all check out Suspiria. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The original, yeah. yeah, the original, yeah totally. I didn't see that. Like, is, it, right, is it a two parter? Like they do the original and then the new one? No, it's just right no, now because it's, it's out right now. Oh, so I'm saying okay. we should watch it 
and then we could actually do like a really good review on it sometime yeah. in the future. We'll do a live review in the theater. Exactly. With, with yeah. everyone there. Exactly. Yeah. We see yeah. Suspiria, we wait for the new one to come out. Yeah, I don't think anyone would be bothered if we did a, a review in the theater. No. no. I feel like that would be a problem. We could bring a mic, we, we'll bring the mic, we'll ask everyone who's watching it. Yeah. Especially during the movie, because Absolutely. you want oh, yeah. a live reaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to hear the guy scream, shut the fuck up. Yeah, you right. Know? right. Yeah. yeah. But Skate Kitchen. Skate Kitchen, hell of a motion picture. Yeah. Skate Kitchen, directed by Crystal Moselle. She's mm-hmm. like Fast becoming one of my favorite directors. Uh, she did a documentary called The Wolfpack, which is excellent. Was Everyone good. should watch it. Yeah. That was very good. Uh, Skate Kitchen is like a barely scripted film. It's about a, a group of girl skaters in New York mm-hmm. who are all playing slightly fictionalized versions of themselves. Mm-hmm. And it's a kind of like kids. Yeah. But with no AIDS, five. thank mm-hmm. God. No yeah, AIDS. There's no AIDS. Is it rape? Well, there's no, no rape. There's no there's rape. No AIDS. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like a PG-13. Thir- well, it's not PG-13, but it's it's a non-disturbing version of kids. It's That's really what it is. Yeah. So it's like millennial kids. It's about coming of age. It's the hipster up, version of kids. Growing so, up. So it's yeah. basically like, yeah. that's, that's the water, it's watered down kids without the awesomeness. By, yeah. by that also, well, I mean hates No, 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 no. Which first of all, bad. first of all, kids is garbage. It's a really garbage movie. I don't know. There is a there is a scene in that movie that made me go, "Oh god, this is going to turn into kids." Oh, when, right. they, when they like yeah. hang out at that club. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone starts yeah. like making out. Yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't spiral no out of control. No I'm actually gonna lie. I'm really kind of torn about kids because I kind of hate it and I kind of like it at the same time. I don't like it. I vaguely remember yeah, that. I, I, I it's have a weird it's certainly very memorable, now. but yeah, I guess that's what it is. Memorable. It it's just like it's not. It feels like it was directed by like Bill O'Reilly or someone who's well, no, like it, no, he was directed by someone who's as a guy, no, someone, someone who's very reactionary and is like we're yeah, like a guy yeah, in the AIDS yeah, yeah, twelve. Yeah. As a kid who grew up in fucking did dreams, you get AIDS? I didn't get AIDS. <laughs> there you go. And that's the thing, like there that movie was like, oh, this is telling of a new generation. No, it's no. And it's just like no, it's not. It's no. it's you know. People, kids do dumb shit. Yeah. But it's a nice little. It was a, it was a pretty yeah. you know extreme movie. Yeah, pretty dark. Yeah. yeah. Was it so Rosario Dawson? Did she get the AIDS? No, no she no. had. Chloe, Chloe gets the AIDS. Chloe yeah. gets the AIDS. Right Rosario the Dawson has a ton of sex and gets nothing. She has all the butt sex. Oh, yeah. that's what it was. Remember this scene where she's like, "Yeah, I did it here. I did it there. I did it in the bushes." I think. Yeah, yeah. The bushes one. Right. And, and, and the good girl gets it once, and she's like, I "Got the AIDS." Yeah. And then like, because she fucked that guy that was like, yeah, smells AIDS. like butterscotch. Yeah. No, the guy, the guy, the guy you're selling it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to speak ill about against like you know the. Mentally handicapped, but he, he definitely does have like he sounded like he had an issue. He's like, I don't like fucking. Well, well no, uh, he's definitely not. I grew up with people like that. What? Yeah, that's I really, kind of talk like this. And talk like that. Like yeah, that's I've, that's I've talk seen like those people. I've seen people. <laughs> what are you talking about? Really? I yeah. still see people that's like that. Thing? Yeah. He sounds like he's got like autism. No, he just sounds like he's from here. <laughs> what? Dude, I yeah. never. Oh, man. People like that still exist. Yeah, I I, I'm from that. Queens, New York. Uh, talk like this. Is he still alive? Black from the is south? He still alive? Huh? Is he still alive? I think he died. Yeah. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. That's no, no. the other. Casper guy. died. Yeah, Casper died. Yeah, he died. Okay. Yeah, that dude's alive. Okay. Yeah, he's still. No. Alive. Oh, yeah, he's, he's in my friend's film actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, really? Yeah, my uh, friend. Off the rails. Off the rails. Anyway, you had a criticism of Skate Kitchen. I did. I don't remember. You said I think there was too much exposition. Yeah, like your issue. There's so and and I, I didn't know uh, originally that was a movie that was like part narrative, part documentary, or like yeah, like very lightly scripted. Right. right. So I just went in there thinking, okay, this is a narrative, right? Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of really pretty B-roll. There's and they use so much of it, mm-hmm. and a part of me was kind of like. You could cut 40 minutes of this out. You wow. Don't, you don't need it. How long is it? Like an hour and 20, hour three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. But the, but it's really, it's it's like, it suffers from the, the classic thing. And this is a thing where, you know, people in post could talk about this. You get a Edit. shit ton of footage when it comes to documentaries. You get so much B-roll. You get just so much random footage that you got to cut out. And I felt... B-roll, by the way, people don't know what it is. It's, uh, it's footage that doesn't serve... It, it's not part of the main story. <laughs> this is the best experience. It's no, I'm trying. <laughs> I really have to fucking think about it. Um, it's not part of the main story, but it's, it's supplemental. It, yeah, there you go. Shots yeah. of birds. 
Yeah. <laughs> so let's. So shot of a bird you've ever seen is yeah. B-roll. So B-roll yeah. is, is supplemental information that doesn't is, isn't associated with the scene, yeah. but can help it's, to. It's to like, the it can be, it's the B-roll. It's, it's the B-roll. It, yeah. it can help establish the world. Right. Yes. Establishes a location. Yeah. Establishes yeah. an environment. Yeah. yeah. Jamie had it right. It was good. Yeah. I was it's really trying. hard to explain, it, actually. It's super hard to explain. Really? He was circling around it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there is a lot of B-roll, but I don't mind. Yeah, you know, it's beautifully shot, and it establishes an atmosphere. Yeah. And it helps you understand why she wants to be part of this group and why it's so much fun. Yeah. Why does she want to be part of the group? I, spoilers. Well, she's, it's not really spoilers because it's in the beginning, but she's mm-hmm. she's like a loner kid who lives on Long Island. She has a weird relationship with her mom who yeah. doesn't like her skating. So she, yeah. she sort of sneaks out of the house and then finds these skaters on Instagram. Yeah. You need to watch it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's it's fucking great. And I hadn't I again I had no idea it was originally like half half Diet Coke, half Coca Cola. Yes. Right. right. So that'd be Sprite or Diet Coke? I don't know. It's like it's Sprite. <laughs> I don't know. But like wh- I watched it as a narrative and I went, This is too much footage. Right. And then after talking to John about it and he knew so much information about it, I was like, Okay, right. this is so much sense. Right. So and it he read and then I appreciated it. it more for what it was. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Okay. So anyone just walking in cold might not appreciate it as much as you guys did without the information. Is that kind of where? Eh. No. It seems like Jamie didn't. It seems like Jamie didn't think it was a good narrative well, it, film, it, it, but it being a blend of both makes it okay. The yeah. plot. Okay. Th- there's like barely like a plot enough. there. That's kind yeah. of the issue. Yeah. 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 You know, there's like really the plot, which doesn't come into play. Maybe like 45 minutes in, is there sort of yeah, a romantic geez. thing? Yeah, mm. and I was kind of shocked that, and I don't know if she's an, actually an actress. I doubt it. Uh, I think James Smith girl. and and the mother are the only two sort of yeah. like experienced actors. In the Can movie. I say that like once I saw James Smith, then I was immediately turned off. Yeah, but he's really good in this. I'm not saying he's a bad actor. I wouldn't I just, say I he's really didn't... good. I would say he's passable. He's the most Jaden Smith of all the Jaden Smith films out there. And Wait, so, I'm what does that mean? Pretty intense. That means he basically plays himself. He plays himself. Oh yeah, oh. he plays himself, and he fits really well in that world. He does because oh, he also okay. he knows okay. how to skate, okay. and he could skate the shit out. He like is that skates. If he wasn't mostly a son, he could be okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. 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 Okay. Well, I'm I, I thinking against Jaden Smith per se. I just was like, all right. Has anyone seen Neo Yokio? Mm. No. On Netflix? Okay. No, okay. Have not. All right, I'm going to do a, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a five hour solo episode uh, about yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, It's terrible and genius at the same time. Yeah. You'll watch it. No, because you told me about that actually. It's really, it's really odd. You're like, okay. oh, you, should, you should watch this. And I was like, yeah. It's created by the, the front man of Vampire Weekend. <clears throat> oh, that's oh, strange. That. And Jaden Smith voices the main character, and it's like an anime, but it's oh, set in a future version this. of New York. Mm. Okay, I need to see this. It's really odd. You just sold it. You sold I just, it so hard. I, all right, so... Are you still doing that? Not yeah. to... Yeah, not you, to... Not you, to you should not be. You should not be. Show it's just like an episode of The Simpsons where someone tells Homer that, like, his donut is poisoned and he eats it anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. I just... I pulled a, a beer out of John's fridge, started drinking it. He doesn't tell me for another, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> I, I don't... <laughs> that the beer... Right, John's fridge is only beer. The beer... I don't... The beer has been sitting in his fridge for three years. That's a rough estimate. It could be longer. It could be shorter. Yeah. <laughs> I could have died. That's not a thing. good place to but start you, from you either way. Deep. You don't huh? dig deep. And yeah, you go, you go without saying something. You go surface. You dug deep. It's like No, dating. I didn't. It was right in the front. No, no. You dug it's deep. like dating in general. You go surface. What are you talking about? I didn't dig deep. It was you dug right deep. there. All right. How's the soundtrack? How's the fucking music in this movie? Oh, it's great. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, Art yeah, you can listen to it on Spotify. Cinematography is beautiful. Yes. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it is. Is it on skate photography or is it like actually like really good? No, it's actual like, beautiful. Yeah. What about locations? Yeah. Where are they? Lower East Side, Long Island. Lower East Side Skate Park. Do they hit up, uh, uh, the, fuck, what's the skate park I, I want, always want to go to, never got to go to? Uh, in Brooklyn. Is it the Brooklyn Bowl? I don't Brooklyn think so. It's almost all in Manhattan. It's, it's okay, Manhattan. Well, I that was my question. Is, yeah. it all in, is it all in New York? It's, it's all in New York. Um... The scenes where she's in Long Island, I'm pretty sure that's not Long Island. It did not look like Long Island. I'm pretty sure that's like Flushing. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay. That's like that weird between Island. place. Yeah, right. yeah. It's, it's but, a weird but they, You know, they're doing the Long Island thing so that she's more of an outsider. Yeah. 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 You gotta stop puffing that thing. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm like, here you go for it. No, I don't want it. You want it. No, I don't. Okay. Which two? <laughs> <laughs> trying to poison me. Two people have been boycotted. Poisoned on this podcast tonight. So far. Podcast poisoned. Just, we just so by, we're only like 15 minutes in. By the end, by the end yeah. of it, there's only going to be two of us. Oh, right. Next, next, topic. <laughs> next moving on. Uh, Matt Smith is going to be in Star Wars. How do we feel about that? The Doctor in Star Wars. Moving on. Um, 
I'm fine with it. I, I mean, I, I think I, I think at this point, Star Wars for me has not. It's I'm not as excited anymore. I hate to I hate to be that guy to. I just, yeah, episode eight kind of just took the allure of Star Wars away from me. Specifically, you know, he said the words. He said the words. Um, he said episode eight. Can I go? Can I go? No, no. God. You you had three minutes last That's week. Sure, I did. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna go on a tirade here. I just uh, I just I'm just saying that as a, as a narrative, like mm-hmm. um, episode eight doesn't really leave me wanting to know more. It's kind of just like, well, we're right back where we started. Um, oh no, my fault. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're right back where we started. Nothing has really advanced in the plot, and now there are these children who I don't give a shit about, who, who are apparently force sensitive. It's just like, okay, fine, whatever. Um, what's happening with our main heroes? Nothing. They all just totally just got demolished. There's like twelve people left in the Falcon. That's the that's the remainder of the resistance. Where does it even go from there? Yeah. So I, yeah. I you know, it's like uh, the only the only really interesting aspect of it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. It's the fact that JJ is coming back to direct it. Yeah. That's that's good. That gives me the hope. I will see it opening weekend, sure, because I'm a giant nerd. But it's just like the news about Star Wars is not really gonna do anything for me. Um, JJ Abrams gave Gavin a new hope. He did. Uh, he absolutely did. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm done with Star Wars, but hearing hearing news about the cast or whatever just yeah. doesn't really interest me at this point. Matt Smith was a great Mablethorpe. Oh, God damn it. He's a very talented actor, and I'm uh, excited so to see what the future is. I was going to say that like, good 11th I, had the, I had the opportunity to uh, work on a project that had Matt Smith in it, and I got to see the dailies, and I got to see him do his process. He's good. And he's fucking amazing. He's, he's an amazing fucking actor. Nice. And, uh, yeah, the movie's Mablethorpe. Uh, I really love the movie, too. It's pretty um, cool. It's dark. Yeah. It's weird. Uh, it was really strange. There, like, there is AIDS in that movie. There is a lot of AIDS in that movie. That's not even a fucking joke. There's just so much AIDS in that movie. But um, like rent, like just just the same amount as rent. Wow. No more. It's a lot. No it's less. A lot of AIDS. It's a lot of AIDS. <laughs> 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 How much? How much um, bad. Because I think he's going to be really awesome in whatever role. They, there's only put him in a human role, and that's a like, CG role. Dude, I like the yeah. idea of it. And yeah, no, they don't mention what the role is, other than no. it's a key role, quote unquote. Whatever. That can be. That can be whatever anything. the fuck like, that means. Nabita Luongo had a key role, and she was a yeah, she was CG, CG animated character entirely. Um, but yeah, no, it's all it's all good. Good for him. Good for Matt Smith. Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel the same way you feel, Gavin, about Star Wars. Now it's one of those. It's just it's, I just don't I don't care. Episode eight killed it. It kind of it did. Didn't. It, it did. wasn't it wasn't that. It was Solo for me. So oh, I watched, really? I watched Solo. I'm like, all right, Thrill and, one. And the Thrill moment one. the moment they announced. Hmm. They were like, hey, Disney bought this, yeah. and we're going to make a shit ton of Star Wars movies. We're going to make a Star Wars movie every year. Every year. All I thought was exhaustion. Like, yeah. everyone's going to get so tired of this series yeah. real quick. Like, and here we are. It's like, I think what, three, um, four years later? I, um, and no one gives a shit about the trilogy? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, I don't, mm, I wouldn't I be surprised, <clears throat> uh, just, just real quick, I wouldn't be surprised if there's more Star Wars fatigue than there is superhero movie fatigue. Because I mean, oh, there's fatigue for that. There's yeah. definitely fatigue yeah. for it, but yeah. it's it, but it, but Star Wars almost did it in the, in, in half the time. They did it like no time. In no time, they released Actually, yeah. one, two. They released four movies and we're done. In it's over. how much time? Three years. Yeah, that's that's yeah. insane. That's too much. I mean, the yeah. thing that the thing that's yeah. the thing that we're not that we don't really see. Is, is is essentially kind of like parts? no no well it's kind of like the prequel it's kind of like that it's that prequel uh, fandom as well because there is a generation that's younger than us who legitimately loved Episode Eight and it's kind of it's the same shit yeah. with the prequels man like there was a there was an audience for that mm-hmm. and they are the ones that unfortunately are going to keep the franchise going yeah. regardless of what we think I don't know I think speaking of franchises not going Guardians of the Galaxy Three has been delayed. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're not done though. We're not done talking about. That. Oh, uh, we'll have to them in a second. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I was gonna, I was gonna say like I I think yeah I agree with that. I agree that there's a there's a whole bunch of people who are like it was great. <clears throat> but I was gonna say is like Solo. I understand why you feel that way with Solo. I like Solo. I'm not I'm not saying I dislike Solo. Right. I'm just saying there's fine. watching. Yeah, exactly. It's, I was watching and I, it's fine. And yeah. I immediately thought, oh, this is a low point. Right. Yeah. I was gonna say that like. I like Solo a lot. I think Solo made... Oh, what the fuck is that? 
It's um, pieces it? pieces of my chair. Oh, okay. striped red leather coming off. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say though, solo was a low point mm-hmm. in terms of like I get I get to understand that. Yeah. I liked it better than episode eight. I was gonna say episode eight was a low point because the, it it literally wraps up a movie that it last it, it wraps up the series that yeah. isn't apparently done yet. So it's like I don't know. Where do you I, go? From I there, definitely right, think you know? the kid with the fucking broomstick. No, know. I think I think. Uh, I mean, I'm, we're not here to talk about. Yeah, I know. Story. No, we should move on to Guardians. Story. Actually, we will. That's, that's but it. I will say that I feel like there's a lesson to be learned in, in making new Star Wars movies, sure. and that's don't fucking like don't abuse nostalgia. True. Like just yeah. if you have three really good movies, yeah. just like live with those three really good movies. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Should, should have been Boba Fett film, honestly. Yeah, it, it would have worked as a Boba yeah. Fett film. It absolutely would have featuring a young Han Solo. Mm-hmm. Um. But uh, yeah, I mean, so going from one galaxy, going to the from next. one galaxy nice. to the next, yeah. very nice. That was good. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three has uh, been can- has it's been canceled. Canceled. <laughs> it canceled. It's been indefinitely uh, postponed, mm-hmm. delayed, yeah. delayed, delayed. Yeah, um, and this is all due to that uh, James Gunn thing. That James Gunn tweet that he posted ten fucking years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the news broke out that uh, the crew and the actors have all been released. That's concerning. To basically, you know, what I'm saying they can't they can't just have them waiting around to yeah yeah to no they see, could because they, they get paid for it anyway. Sure, but that that also but that's also a good indication of just how serious this yeah. fucking thing is. I think exactly. Chris is probably stoked to not work out. Oh yeah! Oh my god! No, he's gonna <laughs> dress part three. We're talking about. Oh yeah! Oh right! Yeah, he's, he's not done. He's uh, he's still not done. Yeah, but he wears more clothes. No, but he's, it's true. He, he doesn't does. really have to yeah, be. Yeah, he doesn't have to be hydrated. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. Have to be hydrated. Yeah. Yeah. Spend the whole day without yeah. drink, without drinking water. Yeah. So um, he's, so he's, so he's, he's just all day. He's just taut. Yeah. Ripped. Um, but yeah, dude, this, this, this little movie trick, it, uh, Shit. what I found funny about, I mean, the, the, my first immediate thought when I saw this headline was that, wow, because of Infinity War, they could essentially not bring back anyone nope. yep. except for Rocket. Yeah. Ooh, standalone Rocket movie would be a lot of fun. <laughs> That's it. No, no. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, it would be a you lot know who else said that? Not even who wanted a solo movie. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. I never right. said anything about a solo yeah. movie. No, I know right. you didn't. Yeah, but someone did. did. Someone Rocket. was like, yeah. "I want a Han Solo movie." Rocket. Um, I love Rocket though. He's I do love. No, Rocket. Rocket's great. But yeah, that's let Bradley Cooper direct it too. That's what's so funny. Ooh. Yeah, nice. So he was crying in Philadelphia the entire time. <laughs> Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, this thing, this so part dude, too. this, this <laughs> Rocket. Yeah. This completely. Um, this this franchise that essentially just blew up and came out of nowhere. Nobody expected this to be a yeah. hit. Is now dead. Is now dead. It's dead. Yeah. And it's I mean, like, <clears throat> I tried to take the glasses off. Uh, that means, that means serious really moment. Serious. Yeah. serious. No, I mean it's dead, and it's dead for really stupid reasons, ridiculous political reasons, and dumb shit. And quite frankly, it's kind of silly that they just want to rehire him. Yeah. And, yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, he it made die. he made a fucking bad joke it a long die. time ago. It sh- it, honestly, if it dies, it's stupid. I'm sorry. The fa- yeah. No, no. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You I'm think sorry. the franchise should die? I think if you don't, I think if you don't say, "Hey, look, we fucked up and uh, we overreacted," and you know, "Hey, sorry, guys. Like, sorry, fans. Let's move on." Yeah, it should die. What, what, it what should. is Disney thinking by not changing their mind about James Gunn? We have so many other franchises. They, aren't they like screwing themselves completely and making themselves look like complete ineffectual morons? Yes. Does this not make the whole company just look completely <laughs> idiotic? Like they're shooting themselves in the foot because they don't want to go back on a terrible decision. But they set a precedent they shouldn't set. As I said in the first episode, actually, is that you could fire half of Disney's staff at this point for what they've done in the past. Yeah. They it look just at seems RDJ like, what, like you know, this is going to cost them tons of money. <clears throat> this is crazy. Yeah. What are they thinking? Yeah. They're yeah. thinking that they don't want the bad PR. That's really was it. Was it in production? But isn't this worse? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be it's better all, yeah. just to change your mind? Pre- it is. It was in pre-production. Yeah. Oh, it was in pre-pro. Yeah. Yeah. He I just was script. It wasn't going to go into production until <clears throat> next year. Yeah, okay. they're shooting it actually. next year. Yeah. But like the top of like Atlanta, top of like February. It's terrible. Yeah, very soon. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's idiotic. So the fact that the fact that something this small, and I'm, 
I emphatically say that this stupid tweet bullshit yeah. is very small. It is such horseshit in its minutia that they completely just dismantled this franchise. Yeah. Literally all all of the actors <laughs> dropped out because they don't, refused to do it without the director and the writer. And it's just like... And they just refuse. They refuse to yield. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It makes it makes a, it, well, well. Yes, it makes that, sense. that part makes sense. I'm saying like, yeah, Disney doesn't make any sense doing it because it's like, um, look. After our initial podcast, well, their first podcast, where we talked about this, mm-hmm. uh, there were some new photos that showed up, and James Gunn used to work for Troma. If anyone knows Troma, everyone everyone here knows Troma. Troma, but Troma was like classic harsh. Schlock, right. schlock for her. Yep. You know, uh, what's Toxic Avenger? Toxic, Toxic Avenger, Avenger. That's right. Yeah. Classic. And they showed him, and like, I think it was like a, a priest's outfit at a mm-hmm. Halloween party or a costume party <laughs> with some other girls dressed as like schoolgirls. Yeah, right. And then they were like, oh my God, see, she's, he's really into creepy shit. And I'm like, no, dude, we all have photos like that. Come on, let's be real. <laughs> okay. Everyone's got a photo of us. Like, someone somewhere's got a photo of one of us doing something terribly wrong That's, I think on a holiday. Wasn't there like one comedian that said uh, the big difference between like, because he was like, I, I was a huge piece of shit when I was a kid. No. Like how Justin Bieber is a piece of shit right now. Yeah, it's right. like the only difference between me and Justin Bieber is that <laughs> there's so much technology during yeah, yeah. what people do today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, James Gunn is not the only director ah! to leave a popular film franchise. Oh, he Danny leave. Boyle <laughs> recently exited yes. the 25th James Bond film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Danny Boyle has left the Bond franchise. Creative, creative differences. Creative, creative differences. differences. Which makes sense. Uh, Classic, you don't like my script. Yeah, basically. <laughs> It's like, oh, where are you? You don't like what I wrote? Are there Danny, Danny Boyle's an odd choice, though, for James Bond to begin with. Don't he totally would have text on the screen. He, <laughs> he's a super odd choice, and there would have been a lot of drugs in that movie. Mm, drugs? No, I don't think so. That's I think it would have been like. He's all about that. He is, but I think it would have been That's a really. Like, well, I mean, yeah. I think it would have been too stylized to the point where you would have had like paragraphs of text on the screen. Mm. Like, you'd be reading the documents it's, with It's James a very, Bond. yeah, he's a super style. Yeah, he's, he's another guy that, like. Because uh, we saw. Uh, tra- transpotting two, two, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But he's mm-hmm. he's the guy that like I like to put in a category with like Tarantino, where like that director comes with a style. Yeah, sure. It's, and it's not. There's yeah. no. There's no other way about it. I love sure. Danny Boyle. He's one of my favorites. Are there any? Are there any other yeah. candidates up, uh, at this point? Sam Mendes. Sam Mendes again. Oh, just <laughs> <come back laughs> pretty well. Right. Just do, just just do it again. Just, they'll, they'll hire some generic TV director to come in and see. Yeah. Gareth Edwards. Yeah, but that makes me wonder. That would be interesting. Gareth Edwards? Gareth yeah, Edwards I, I can go with that. Um, you, 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 you've work. never seen James Bond in the middle of a war. Honestly. That's not going to work. Yeah. That would be interesting, actually. If it doesn't work with Daniel Boyle, it's not going to work with It's going to be James Gunn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> but now, uh, uh, see, but this makes me now. Moonraker too. That was watching Boogaloo. But this makes me now a little, not, I mean, concerned. Whatever. There's always going to be Bond movies. They're never going to stop making them. But um, Daniel Craig is definitely in this. Twenty. Daniel Craig is still part of this. Is this his last one? Or yeah, he's rapping. Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah he's there's there's no, really so still no. Uh, However, oh goodness. Well, Emily Blunt's going to be the next one. We all know that. Emily Blunt. No, dude, I, I still really want fucking. Uh, Idris. 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 Really want to interest level. Yeah, I mean, but again, it makes me wonder now <laughs> how much more tiptoeing are they going to have to do around Daniel Craig if they've lost now the director slash writer for for this new one? Mm. Um, because that's 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 his whole his whole argument is always just like I don't I won't do it unless either hey, a certain bigger. Uh, yeah either a certain director's attached mm-hmm. the script is airtight or a lot of money. Daniel yeah. Craig seems like kind of a prick. He's awesome. Yeah, that's well, really. not fair for us to say that. We don't no, know. Yeah, yeah, let's be, let's be real here. And I've heard he's him. probably really fucking awesome. He's really tired of doing the same thing for the past and 10 years. That's exactly what that's it is. is. So you know? you know what? He can go at home and weep on his pile of money, okay? Just <laughs> get out of the way and let Danny Boyle make a Bond movie. No. Well, what? He's, he's not in the way of Danny Boyle. I don't, I don't think it's Danny Boyle. He's, he's in the way. No, I don't think You think he's in the way? Daniel Craig is in the way, yeah. The dude jumped from a crane. Or a stuntman did. Stuntman did. Come on. He jumped from a crane. You know what? I'm calling it right now. New James Bond. Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> he already has a I great job. Mission Impossible. Yeah. Euro edition. He can do both. He if could do if both. Chris Pratt could do Guardians of the Galaxy he and Jurassic Park. He's got Park. that Scientology no. power. They can just film all day. No. Well, you know what he should do with that Scientology power? They should do a crossover. 
a team up. I don't know what that means. Oh, Ethan Hunt. I have no idea what no. that guy is. Ethan, Ethan, what is he doing? Four or five, and we're done. <laughs> okay, fine. That's how much time we have left. It's going up. It's going up. Yeah, it's counting towards five. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. If you had done from five to zero, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't, I don't know. Know. Okay, it's a this discussion time. before the show. I don't want to do the timer, but. That's true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Still working on it, guys. Yep. Let's just let's just, let's just let's Why? just let's just combine some franchises here. Let's fuck yeah, let's fuck. have Ethan Hunt and James Bond in the same fucking movie. Ethan Bond. Ethan Bond. No. Yeah, James, James Hunt. Hunt. <laughs> I don't mean combine the characters. Uh, no, no, I mean have them both in the no, same. No, 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 no. You mean like Face Off, where they like swap identities? Oh, right? they took his face off. That's not bad, actually. They take off Bond's face. Yeah. yeah. Or they, you know, they did it. It's called Jack Reacher. So, <laughs> sure. Oh, Jack Reacher, that's yeah. right. Werner I like Herzog Jack Reacher a lot. Werner mm-hmm. Herzog was in that one. Yes. Yeah. Which one? Jack, Jack, Jack Reacher. The first one? Played the bad guy. Mm-hmm. The first one? Yeah, the first one. Yeah. Oh my god. It's really? Really great. Yeah. Yeah, he was the bad guy. I don't know. I saw the movie. I had no idea. <laughs> like an asshole. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't like it that much. I guess I'm not. I guess so, I'm... let's do a, let's do a pick of pick. directors for the new Bond 25. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Bond yeah, 25. All right, Jamie, you start it off. I start it off? Yes, yeah, so yeah. she's a smart guy with the idea. You start yeah. it off. <laughs> Fuck. You fucker. Yeah. I was putting everyone on the Fucking spot. Bitch. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I really you don't. You can't do that. I can't do that. It's not fair. I know. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> It's. I'm just sad that Danny Boyle. <laughs> that hard pass. Hard. <laughs> you can't hard pass. <laughs> All right. You know what? Um, I can do this. Yeah, you can. Uh, no, plenty of directors. Any Gareth Edwards. And, Gareth Edwards. <laughs> and the moments. Go. You know, Ryan Johnson. No. Oh, oh, that's mean. Stop it! Don't do this to us. Woo! I fight you. <laughs> Anything? John. Um, just give it to uh, Christopher McQuarrie. That's a good one. That's, actually that's a good an one. easy choice. Yeah, that's a really good one. I just I'm yeah. that's a I'm having a hard time why Sam Mendes isn't doing it. <laughs> that's, that's really. Good. I'm sure that's exhausting. Yeah, I I those personally, movies. honestly, I want Sam Mendes to come back. Those films okay. are massive, though. Yeah. His, his two films are huge. Yeah. I mean, Skyfall is incredible. Yeah. Skyfall is incredible. Skyfall is incredible. It's good. Fucking yeah. massive. All right, John, what's yours? <laughs> Is uh, Chris 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 Yeah. Uh, I would agree. Right. I agree. Right. Wow. Yeah. That would be interesting. Yeah. But that's but that's another guy that comes with the with the stock. That's, I know, that's and I want I want to see his I want to see what he did with uh, Baby Driver mm-hmm. expanded to a larger universe. Oh. So I want to see that style of filmmaking with a Bond movie. So yeah. That constant movement, the constant momentum. Yeah. Moving and mm-hmm. but without all the bullshit, like. For whatever reason, people feel like they need they need to make Bond dramatic. I'm like, no, he's we're not here for that. We're here for gadgets and cool shit. And well, women. let's move forward. That was because it was dramatic because of uh, like the new Daniel Craig bit. Yeah, the Daniel Craig. Yeah. That was awesome. I, yeah. I, I I can imagine like once they close this book because yeah. we're out of like the dark and gritty shit. Yeah, we're gonna first, have some fun James Bond. The first three totally. were really good. Yeah. Once you once you got past once you introduced the original Aston Martin from the first was it from Goldeneye or whatever it was with mm-hmm. the. That wasn't Goldfinger. Cool. Goldfinger. Thank mm-hmm. you. Sorry. Um, why don't you choose the Aston Martin and, and, and do a callback to it? Like, can we stop with the dark and gritty shit and just yeah. go straight to like, fun? Well, they did. That's what shit. they started doing with Spectre. Still does. I know. I know. You know? Like, yeah, yeah Spectre's a little. I know. It's a little off. Yeah. It, it, it's 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 weird. It's it's that it's that weird transition. Blend. Yeah. The yeah. weird blend that doesn't really fit yet. Yeah. They either just need to. It needs to just be one extreme or the other yeah. kind of a thing. Yeah. But trying to blend it into the same movie? Cool. It's just like there's a lot of moments in there. Yeah. So I think it'd be really good to go with Edgar Wright and just go like, all right, and we're moving into fun stuff. I feel like he would be an excellent choice for the is next it, Bond. Is he usually yeah. a British director? Is that the tradition? I don't know if that's the thing anymore. Well, Sam Mendes is in English. Yeah, he is. Is he? Is he? Yeah. He is, yeah. Sam Mendes. He's English? Yeah, it's Mendes with an S. Sam Mendes. He's, he's probably, his background is that, but... Uh, Sam Mendes, what? he was married to a um, Titanic woman. Uh, yeah, Elizabeth... You know what? No, no, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I got a new pick. I got a new pick. Uh, Kate okay. Blanchett. No, no, no. Kate Blanchett. Sorry, Kate Blanchett. Sorry, 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 sorry. Kate sorry. Winslet. Kate Winslet. Yeah. This is so bad. It ends in it. This is so bad. We don't know who Michael Caine is. This is so bad. We can't explain B roll at all. We're not good at our jobs. Yeah, this is not. It's not a roll. That's all. Wait. So what's your new pick? New pick you said? Yeah, I have a new pick. Alfonso Cuaron. That's who I pick. No. Yes, why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This no, is no, all, no. all hypothetical. Uh, we're not hiring see, see, fucking team. The problem is, can any director who's really unique and creative 
thrive in this type of environment. It seems yeah, like increasingly they just so leave they or they get fired. I, I think you did. Maybe. I think you know I have a Gareth Edwards. Yeah. I think that's a perfect person. Yeah, you just got to get any, the guy that gets the job though. Any time this happens, though, anytime. Are we, are we like trying to... Uh, I don't think it would be... Are we trying well, to find our writer director? Is that the whole thing? Is it specifically writer director or just yes. director? No, just director. Whatever. No, no, no. Well, Alonzo did Harry We just haven't picked yet. Well, Danny Boyle, Danny Boyle wrote a script. They didn't like it and he was like, all right, deuces. Yeah. So right. I imagine, I imagine he's like the next person's going to come in and they're going to write a script, right? Yeah. Or bring the writer. Sure, something like that. Yeah. Like right, right, right. Interesting right. choice. Right. Right. Well, I've got, I've got two. Um, one, one I'm picking because he's wanted to do this since he was a wee lad. Are you about to say Tarantino? No, I'm about to say Steven Spielberg. Ooh. I would love for him to get a shot at a, at a James Bond movie. I, that would be the most PC version of a James Bond ever. Yeah. Yes. But but that's the thing. Now, if they're if we're leaning towards back into the, the old fun stuff. the fun old school style of the movie, he could totally do that. Um, if we get the James, oh, I'm sorry. If we get the if we get the Spielberg who did uh, Indiana Jones, no, catch me, catch me if you can. Oh, catch me if you can. Um, if we get yeah. that Spielberg, then fuck yeah. He's not raunchy. Spielberg's not raunchy. No, dude, give us Minority Report. Neither, that, that Spielberg. Yeah, that Spielberg. That's get, the one we need. That was the same era. If we yeah. get that era of Spielberg. Fuck it, yeah, yeah, it's no solid. Fun. But if we get uh, man crossing the bridge, Spielberg, no. We need we need a little raunchiness in there. Yeah, yeah. My, in the, the Bond movies, movies? <laughs> yeah, there's, yeah, there's tons of it. Really what? 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 Yeah. They're all raunchy. They're, they're all raunchy. Raunchy. Yeah. He has sex. Yeah. No, that's why this yeah. is funny that you're like we need some raunchiness. And I'm like, yeah, yeah but Spielberg, yeah, Spielberg, every Spielberg, Spielberg, Spielberg doesn't. He doesn't do raunchy. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. It would be Indiana Jones with license to kill in a suit. License to kill. Totally. No, I mean like just the the term like license to kill. Yeah, Indiana yeah, Jones yeah. is license to kill. You know. Uh, my second choice, just <laughs> I mean, from a pr- completely practical uh, special effects and uh, action. Uh, we'll perspective get the John Wick guys to do it. Would be uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I was gonna say George Miller. Ooh. George Miller. Would be great, yeah. George Miller. George, but he's exclusive. I think he's pretty. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I know. But he's Australian. Australian. He's Australian. Australian. He's Australian. Australian. Yeah, yes. George Miller, that would be the most intense Bond ever. Yes, it would. That would be That'd be dope. fucking crazy. That'd, That'd be good. Fucking That'd be it would be really good if, again, he, yeah. he brings his writer. Yeah. Or he writes it. His storyboard, I assume. Whoever the fuck is. <laughs> words in the movies. His storyboard. What were the names of those, uh, what were they, the Warrior Boys that were in Mad Max? For, uh, uh, the crazy the, guys with the yeah, white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we gotta bring those into the James yeah, Bond. Universe. Damn right, yeah. Just where he kills like fifty yeah. of them at once. Yeah, yeah. We gotta do. We gotta do a podcast about that, Max. Uh, no, we yes we, we do. We gotta do a podcast yes. about fucking James Bond. We do. Yeah. That too. That's like two. Yeah. yeah, but Mad Max. That's you know I love Mad Max. No. you know I love. I have a Fury. I have a Fury Road poster in my house. That's dangerous, man. It's sitting up. Well, what? What? Doing a pod? He's ready to transition. Doing a, doing a pod? I don't, I don't like how you can tell me. He's loaded up. He's loaded up. Ready to transition. Loaded up. All right, guys. On podcast two. On podcast two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for listening to part one of our uh, postcast podcast today. Um, signing right. off, I am Gavin Bazelar. You can find me on Instagram at G underscore Baz, B A Z Z, or you can find me on Twitter at Gavin underscore Bazelar, B A Z A L A R. Next to me is Jamie. Where can we they find you, Jamie? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, J A I M E B twelve thirteen. That's Jamie B twelve thirteen. Johnny. Uh, my name's Jonathan Norcross. You can find me on Twitter. <laughs> Jonathan Norcross, and I'm always out for the. You can like you can kill. Find me on Twitter at uh, I'm boss. Jonathan at Jonathan Norcross. Try again. <laughs> my name is Jonathan Norcross. You can find me on Twitter at Jonathan Norcross. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more time. Trial, one more my time. name. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep that together the entire time. Let's see how that goes. Try it again. <laughs> <laughs> Take a breath before we say. My name. Yeah. Is Jonathan Norcross. <laughs> yeah. And where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter.com. Yeah. At. Yeah. Jonathan Norcross. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and good night, America. Uh, what about Instagram? Do you have one of those? Uh, no. <laughs> you liar. You liar. Goddamn liar. It's a bold faced lie. You son of a bitch. Uh, no. I, I, Stop being so kid. I can't remember. Right. Isn't it like Norcross NYC? Yeah. Okay. Norcross yeah. NY, yeah. For sure. Norcross NY. At Norcross NY on Instagram. At Norcross NY? Nice. Hey, what's your email? 
<laughs> Maybe Dot Blanco would dream about that. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Jim? Oh, I'm at, uh, I'm only on the uh, Instagrams. Actually, that's not true. I'm on Twitter. Yeah, but on Twitter. I am on Twitter. Twitter. I don't yeah. check it, though. I never, I don't access it ever. I, what, if, I, what if there's a young woman out there who wants to slide into your DMs? Now what are you going to do? You gotta stay away from that. <laughs> I'm, stay, I'm gonna stay very far away from that. Uh, so it's uh, <laughs> this is an outro. It's an outro. It's Hurry like, up. We, yeah, we got like three of them. It's fine. Uh, it's uh, so I'm at Instagram at uh, Jim. Nope, that's not right at all. <laughs> that's J. It's a Jim. Is that J? Nope, wrong. J Chal. is J C H A L I Z uh, at J C H A. L-I-Z. Nice. nice. Awesome. Yeah. Guys, don't forget, we are uh, also on Instagram and Spotify and uh, what the hell's the other thing? iTunes. We're available on iTunes and Spotify and Stitcher. Instagram. And We're Stitcher. on J3Filmworks.com. Yeah. yeah. At J3Filmworks uh, on the Instagram and also at Twitter. So J3Filmworks.com. Yeah. And the website. So follow us on all of the platforms. Thank yes. you guys very much. We'll catch you next week. Bye. Victory. You're still here? It's over. Go home. <laughs>